It's the Full Force News Burst brought to you by GeneralsJoesReborn.com with me, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic80. A brand new G.I. Joe animated series has been announced for 2022. His Tank have reported that a brand new G.I. Joe animated series has been announced for next year at Licensing Con in Brazil. The head of licensing at Hasbro Brazil, Marcello Massotti, explained that the company will be debuting the series based on G.I. Joe next year with a second season to follow in 2023. Attendees were also shown a clip from the series which His Tank described in some detail. The clip was animated like what we usually see on a typical flashback scene, moving characters to a static background akin to Mortal Kombat X endings could just be placeholder concept art, barely two seconds. Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow are fighting a couple of enemies, both their designs are brand new and futuristic. Snake Eyes looks a lot like a Black Power Ranger, wears bladed gauntlets like classified series Storm Shadow art, most popularly known as Batman gauntlets. Silver visor, no weapon, just a badass kick. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Storm Shadow looks a lot like the Marvel character Crossbones. White high collar jacket, no sleeves, like Snake Eyes wears the same gauntlets. Dual wielding, two tang hooked katanas. Enemies, two males, one bare chested, possibly tattooed, wearing Japanese demon masks. Bare chested enemy wields double ended Japanese shogi hook, the other wields a straight sword while receiving a knee kick to the chest from Snake Eyes. Location, top of the building, helipad question mark, neon signboards can be seen in the city. 4th of July like fireworks, reminiscent of the intro of G.I. Joe the movie. This actually sounds really fun and I cannot wait to see actual footage of this cartoon, with what is clearly brand new design aesthetics for the characters. I'm surprised they haven't focused on a classified animation considering the popularity of the line, but it's really cool to be getting something new yet again in what is becoming a very diverse and far-reaching portfolio of products under the current regime. That sounded both very management speak mixed with governmental language, and I apologise fully. The description sounds very interesting as it would appear they have pushed Joe into the future even more, but I like the descriptions of Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow in this new universe, and look forward to hearing more about it, which I'm sure will be the case in the coming months. As soon as we know more about this show we will update you guys, but for now you'll just have to be patient like I'm not being. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in. Full Force.